I am struggling to express in words just how significant of a discovery this is. What has just been announced in relation to the pyramids at the Giza Plateau and the plateau itself is so incredible, so awe-inspiring and narrative shattering that I have been sitting here for the last hour trying to wrap my head around the implications of what we were just told. So this is pretty much breaking news because the new findings were announced on the 16th of March at a press conference held by the team who was studying the Great Pyramid of Giza with a non-invasive technology that was first developed by uh, Filippo Bionde and Corrado Malanga called Synthetic Aperture Radar Doppler Tomography. So this was used to explore the internal structure of the Great Pyramid of Giza. And this method leverages the analysis of micro movements typically generated by background seismic activity to achieve a high resolution, full 3D tomographic imagery of the pyramid's interior and subsurface components. The recent findings from deploying this technology are nothing short of mind-blowing. Because what's been discovered is that there are huge structures coming down from the base of the pyramid deep into the bedrock. In fact, over 600 meters deep, which then connects to structures that extend up to two kilometers below the surface of the ground. Two kilometers, massive internal structures connected to the base of the pyramid and extending deep deep down. This is what we know so far. Utilizing high resolution radar images from Capella Space and Umbra, which are two private companies that specialize in satellite based synthetic aperture radar imaging. This has allowed researchers to create a 3D model of the internal structure of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Now, this model has revealed a previously unknown chamber with five horizontal levels and a sloping roof, which in of itself is an architectural design unlike any previously documented in the Giza Pyramid. But the most shocking discovery lies beneath the surface. Below ground level, radar tomography has identified vertical cylindrical structures extending for hundreds of meters beneath the pyramid. There are eight of these cylindrical wells arranged in two parallel rows descending to an astonishing depth of 648 meters. Even more intriguing, at the base of these structures are two massive cubic formations measuring approximately 80 meters in diameter. The tomographic data suggests that these are vertical wells with intricate spiral pathways. Now this design not only implies a functional purpose, but also a level of sophisticated engineering that completely blows the dynastic Egyptian model out of the water. I mean, the pyramid itself was already a massive red flag in the ancient Egyptian historical narrative. But now, with this discovery, I think it's become impossible to say that the Egyptian civilizations that we understand, that we've been taught about, were responsible for building these structures. And it doesn't even end there. The radar analysis extends beneath the entire Giza plateau, revealing interconnected structures beneath not only the Great Pyramid of Giza, but also those of Khufu and Menkar. The subsurface network reaches down to a staggering depth of approximately two kilometers. Two kilometers, this is not possible given the standard historical and archaeological narrative given to us about ancient Egypt. Now, I'm hearing that there is more to come. There is a four-hour presentation that's going to be released by the research team. This is what I'm hearing. That's going to go into every detail of their findings. This has essentially been a strategic release of incredible data ahead of time to get people interested. And I am more interested in this than basically anything else right now, because this is by far the most provocative piece of evidence for not only a potential technological explanation for the purpose of the Giza complex, but it also provides the most extraordinary evidence for a pre-flood era civilization that was flourishing in a way that we can scarcely comprehend. 
It's also possible that this spiraling cylindrical series of structures are staircases, and I can't help but think of the channeled writings of Thoth the Atlantean, you know, the, the Emerald Tablets, speaking of a lost hall of records, a sacred hall of knowledge below the Giza Plateau, the halls of Amenti. Could this be the lost hall of records from the pre-flood era? Now, obviously, this discovery is extremely controversial. It runs as a complete contradiction of the established narratives and status quo in mainstream academia on these issues. This will cause big waves throughout the academic and the wider world if they can fully evidence these findings. But the results so far seem pretty clear. There is obviously significant structural engineering taking place deep below the pyramids and the Giza Plateau in general. Has this changed your mind on the pyramids? Has this strengthened your position on what they might have been? Has this new discovery given you any new ideas about what the implications are? Let me know in the comment section below. And honestly, everyone, share this far and wide. This is such interesting stuff. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll just have to see where this goes because rest assured, I'll be keeping a very close eye on any coming announcements and updates on this issue. This plays directly into one of my main interests, which is, of course, prehistorical civilizational implications. What was going on before the global cataclysm? Well, I think moments like this could shed light on that question. What a time to be alive.